Well, boys and girls, something completely different today. So we're going to be picking the Chub Ava Rim Silicon, which is on the Guardian, what is it, 4L67, I don't fucking know. Uh, looking for the back here, but I fucking twat. So that's what these are, auto locking uh, dead bolts. <laughs> and that's basically how these rim cylinders connect to this. Uh, there is other variations, you've got a padlock here, which I do possess the key for. So look at them fucking crazy keys, oh my days, oh my days. There you go, turn, lovely, lovely smooth action. I don't actually have the key for this. Uh, you can put the key in, it'll only turn so far. Obviously, that's not the correct key. So, we're going to have a bash at fucking picking it. Uh, I won't bore you with all the details, but basically, there's there's 10 wafers inside the lock. Um, they are fucking crazy because they're not sprung, so they're independent to slide back and forth. And depending on the key bit in, you can see it's got angle cuts to the key is what shape the wafer takes basically we won't bore you with that <laughs> i've picked this lock a few times now lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fucking bench time uh sometimes i can pick it in two minutes sometimes it takes me 45 minutes i legitimately sat here on saturday lost track of time for six hours <laughs> six hours picking it anyway enough bullshit uh, so this is the tool to pick it so this is the gj other pick uh, you can see it's got an end which is needed to tension, which is basically the last cut of the key. And you'll see you've got three different ends to choose from. Oh, fucking deadly. Uh, the way I learned how to use it is basically I tried each end until I found wafers that were binding. <laughs> that was my way. There's lots of mathematics involved, but basically I do mine by feel because I'm a fucking renegade. Right, so what we're going to do is insert a tension tool all the way to the back of the lock. We're going to tension the lock and then literally all we're going to do, I keep tension on and I'm just going to rotate all the discs or the wafers anti-clockwise. So uh, there's one click, uh, there's another click, 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 and then basically there's another click, there's another click, click and click okay so not loads of tension obviously i don't want to fucking break the tool but basically what we do is rotate all the discs to the fucking left i keep calling them discs wafers whatever you want to fucking call them pick them all to the left and then we're going to test basically the the amount of rotation the tool's got inside the wafer to see whether it's correct or not so i'm going to start at position one i'm going to test that that's got nice increments of six that's the math we're looking for. So hopefully you're going to see one that's incorrect. Let's have a look. I think number three might be incorrect. Let's have a look. So four. No, three's fine. Four is not fine. So basically what you do is ease off tension. And try and nudge it across. There we go. We'll nudge that. Let's go to five. Nudge. Oi! <laughs> live on camera, live on camera. This one's for you, Protec. Said it couldn't be done. I fucking did it. I did it in double quick time. 